Hello and welcome back to Simply at Home. Uh, today's video is on um, traditional games. Let's call it traditional games, but you will be wondering why I'm having, uh, uh, you know, corners of uh, lady's finger here. That's the entire point, thanks to lockdown and other things. Uh, what we have learned uh, mostly so far in Simply at Home or observed is using things from what is available at home. So first things first, we all like, um, let's call, we all like a variety. Whether it is food, clothing, whatever it is, even a travel destination, we all love variety. And so do kids. Kids will want to play with a toy today and probably two, three months later they will play the same toy with so much of enthusiasm. So every day you can't be inventing and reinventing toys or keep buying toys which again goes into storage and so many other things. So I'm going to be sharing a few uh, things that I remember playing in my childhood and I'm sure there are much more such traditional games available. So uh, this is the example in Lady's Finger that I'm showing. Probably um, we used stones, shells, I remember using tamarind seeds, we use tamarind in the kitchen and we use those seeds to play. They stay a lot more. So every day it's a new item but technically it's the same game that we are going to be playing. So depending on the child, um, let's dive into the games. So keeping both hands together like this, the child will have to grab as much as possible. So the more uh, coins or items that you have better but I this is all I could have today from my kitchen so uh, let's get going so we need to grab we need to hold and we need to shake 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 so this is more like at the preliminary level shake 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 so you keep probably giving some tune saying shake 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 then shake 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 so whoever is holding the maximum coin still in their hands gets more points so what at the end of it, everybody is a winner, but still. So this is one easy shaky game. Um, everything again comes to imitation. So one is shake, shake, shake. So after that, uh, again, depending on the child level, if you are new to my channel, you will be, um, for people for who are new to my channel, I, I will keep repeating in every other video of mine. Um, excuse me because it's the same thing sitting tolerance so sitting tolerance and in this case it was grasp skill then we're going to go into the next skill so you need to you know uh, move this into two hands and you need to keep transferring them transfer so what happens during this transfer there will be something which will fall so you take turns the more the merrier you, have, you can have a bigger circle of friends and family. Everybody can be part of it. Let's please understand this is never between only the mom and child. Anybody can play with a child and engage and you also can get happy about it. So this is a nice feeling. This is tactile. Children who have tactile issues, you know, they can keep going up and down and up and down and uh, transfer it between two hands. Left, right, left. So if you're going to say... Again, left, they need to hold it in the left. So if you say right, they just need to remember and hold it in the right. So faster, 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 left, right, left, right, 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 whatever it is. So it should not fall or how many you still hold. You know, you can count. So those are things you can do with the second time of, uh, type of game. One, this is also midline crossing, moving the hands together. So first one was shake, shake, shake. Then we did the transfer. Then whichever falls down, you can keep that aside. Don't do a subtraction. Let's do addition. One, two, three. So because at that very, very, very uh, young age, children will need to learn the art of, uh, you know, counting their blessings or saying, this is so many I have, rather than saying, these are things I don't have. So when you're doing it for very, very small kids, Let's not do subtraction, let's do addition. Let it subconsciously settle into the child at that age that you know, I have lots and that's just little that I don't have probably. So that is uh, game number two. Now, um, 
if you noticed hands hands movement also and then i'm going to go to game number three most of us would have uh, done this at a young age we would have done it with stones you can also do this with different kind of stones so as i said you need to do this game or attempt this game with variations today it is vegetables tomorrow it could be stones day after it could be shells so after a week when the child is going to play again they'll think oh it's all together a totally new thing so this is where you just keep this you just take so many probably and then we put this down take a bigger piece if it's shells bigger shells so i take one of this i throw this up in the air and i catch or just let's say one at a time throw this up tap and catch tap and catch tap and catch tap and catch so there is when you do it for the child and show it to them there is an imitation first they observe so there is this thing which tosses up and then comes back up and down and it's a smaller piece it's unlike those mid segment balls or bigger balls where you know even if they are in the corner of the eye they can see this is an amazing uh, hand eye coordination eye contact exercise so next thing is to have fun let's get into the points section later so just tap and catch tap and catch you can also play this throw up in the uh, air tap clap your creativity so what next can we do the similar thing of throwing up in the air and catching is we are going to take a little bigger ones here than smaller ones um let's take depending on your size and the child size let's always remember the smaller one in the group and how much they can uh, you know hold in their hands so having that in mind i'm just showing five uh, or six in my hand probably kids who are very small will can hold only three so right now i'm just taking so many and then we're going to just throw it off and then we're going to take the bigger piece throw up in the air and catch i take one throw up in the air and catch i take two throw up in the air and catch there is a possibility i would have missed it's okay up in the air and catch so in this initial stage let's use a timer so let's uh, let's start with something very small like 30 seconds and 40 seconds till the art is understood and everybody takes the same time so whoever is getting you know let's count them if i have done 3 in 30 seconds then i get 1 2 3 3 points so somebody else gets 2 they get 2 points somebody else gets so you can also keep increasing the count till lunch comes have fun in between so that is another thing you can do on throw and catch so initially is just throw tap and catch then focus on that one item and then catch then the next one i'm going to is again let's take little bigger ones because we're going to throw and catch first one we saw throw catch and i count now in this case we need to throw it little away okay we need to throw it up in the air catch use the same hand so in this way we will also know uh, children or young adults which hand is more frequent for them whether it's right or left or they want to use both hands but it has to be just using one hand and continue keeping the previous one inside so this i have caught next one i catch see i missed it so my turn is over in this turn my turn is over let's do another round so in this turn i have taken only two so let's catch keep this in hand throw it up in the air and catch the other one let's say i've done two and then throw up catch and then throw up and catch so what happens is my fingers are moving you know all my fingers are moving i am then rolling it up into a pincer throwing up in the air and catching all my fingers are used there is a grasp i'm continuing in this place I'm throwing up in the air and catching so technically what happens i still have a lot of items the so much of juggling that is happening so there is a lot of focus that comes out of these kind of games so next what you can do is you can create a border 
by just you know today you get uh, earlier we used to use chalk pieces on the floor or something like that today you can do those um, tapes let me give you an uh, example probably at the end colorful tapes so that you know ch children understand border after you put it in that you need to just throw and then start catching or whatever so whatever throwing is happening the maximum should be within that border so smaller to bigger borders you can create so in a way children will understand what is border what goes inside inside the border outside the border there is a lot of preposition and other things that you can teach if it's language related and uh, let's go to the other one in this also you can do uh, any of the other combinations then let's do the same thing again let's take a bigger version here and now in this we need to be careful we are going to throw the first one we have to throw far so that it's easier to you know throw up catch now this one we are going to catch it all together so the closer it is the better so I, and i need to gauge how much i'm going to throw throw and catch all together at one go this is another beautiful thing where it's lot of grass you know things will go it will run different places the children will have to go all the way pick it up and come so there is um, inside the room where they have to see the eye goes to that direction eye contact so many things are there in these traditional games which is long lost um anyways let's get back to this <laughs> and give it a try let's not try everything at one go with all children let's understand the child's level if the child um, irrespective of the age can do only one of these games let's stick to that game first because what we're going to do is while we are going to do all of these things sitting tolerance looking tactile grasp everything first things first is confidence i did something today i achieved something today i was able to throw and tap irrespective of catching i at least threw, uh, threw it up in the air tap attempted to catch or even if i caught one let's stop it at that let's say wonderful amazing let's get to lunch or dinner or whatever was your next um, in line as per your plan for the day excuse me about the mosquitoes so let's try one thing at a time in case of very 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 small kids okay uh, this one i have cut in the morning and by the time i have shot uh, the stickiness in this is gone there will be a lot of stickiness in the um, we all know lady's finger it's got that stickiness so what you can do is for very 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 small kids you can put put that on the nail and say it's sticking it is sticking sticky sticky so the multiple repetitions that you're using it goes into the eye next thing is it's a pincer activity and then there is the child has to place the fingers on the floor press and then you place you can teach nails this is amazing for even language development where children who need uh, help in repetitive words in general children will repeat the words multiple times till they get it inside their head so yes these are the different ideas that i could remember uh, it's not necessary you have to use only lady's finger anything you know in this size uh, or a little bigger one like a stone why i didn't show stone initially is um, those kind of stones i don't know if you are available it's available today in um, big cities or other places definitely if you are on the outskirts and all you you can get just pebbles or stones anywhere and it has to be in this size you know little bigger than this probably chisels or wooden pieces wood again and sure it should not go uh, cutting through the skin so it could be shells um chori we used to use and yes tamarind seeds right uh, some other time later in another video i will definitely show how those tamarind seeds looks like if you are quite new to it because today you get it all seedless in the market um those are things if you can buy tamarind with seeds and use it in your kitchen you can just need to wash dry it up in the sun and uh, nothing happens technically to those seeds they last for i don't know uh 
more than a decade 10 12 years 13 years maybe so by which time the children are bigger and you can also hand it off to somebody else so these are the ideas i could think of if there is any other traditional game that you can think of please mention in the comments below signing off this is ramya simply at home bye bye